peoples, Arth Womp here, and welcome to episode 6 of Crash Bandicoot 2. Last time, we started the third hub world, we got the remaining gem in... We got the gem we were missing in, to, in Air Crash, we completed several levels, and we did a, a secret level, Bear Ride. Basically, yeah, totally bear, totally bear, yeah, that was the name. And in this episode, we're going to be doing more levels. Anyways, I just want to ask you as per normal, how are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having, you're enjoying your day. Anyways, we did Unbearable. Plant food is going to be our next one because it will activate another level. As well as give us an, actually no, no. Plant food isn't the, isn't going to activate a new level. It's, that's going to be the next world. Anyways, plant food. We're going to go here. Another colored gem is going to be at our disposal. Beat the timer to earn a special gem. Yeah, this is the second timer level. This was the one I was thinking of when I was doing Air Crash. I always get Air Crash mixed up with this level. Anyways, I think the timer's actually gonna activate a little sooner here, or maybe not. Okay, regardless, at least there's no, at least there's no, no death challenge. As you can see, only one, only 53 blocks. All right, not blocks, crates are here, crates. How hard is it to remember crates, Zarthwam? How hard is it for you to remember what a crate is? Yeah, I, I'm get, I have Mario Party. T I have Mario and Luigi partners in time. Oh, no, no, no. I am not going to risk it. I'm not. I'm basically going to get what we need. Go over the ledge. I'm not going to risk it. Go, go, go. We have a limited amount of time. I want to just get going. No. There we are. Good, good, good. Go, 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 go. Punch it, punch it, punch it. Okay, at least we got two. We got two me thrices. Okay, good, good, good. Let's grab the crystal. Grab the crystal. Grab the checkpoint. Because we have to get going. We have to pump it. I don't care. I will take the hit. I will take the hit. Okay, good. I will get my revenge. I will get my revenge. Good. Got it. At least we got the gem here. Very good. Very good. And with that, we're at least one step closer. We'll go back to level. We'll get the regular clear gem for that one, making it where we'll have three levels effectively done for this for the third world. Then we can head off to sewer. We get off to the sewer level because that's going to activate our next hidden level. Yes, do your dance, Crash. Do the dance. You earn that dance. Okay, let's see how much, how far we are. Yeah, we're nearly halfway done with the game, believe it or not. Yeah, we're all, we're gonna get our twentieth gem, meaning that we'll only have twenty-two left. And then when we're done with the, and then when we're done with the next level, we'll be halfway done with our gems. Really, I can't believe how fast things are flying. How fast this playthrough's going. At least we don't have to worry about the timer this time around, which is always a nice touch. I don't want to deal with you, Mr. Plant. I love how the plants in this game just are much more devious than in the first game. In the first Crash game, plants weren't really a common enemy, but basically, and they, and even when they weren't pre when they were present, they weren't that much of a threat. I know. There we go. There we go. Got it. Got it. This time, I am going to hit all the crates. I am going to go very carefully. Thread the needle. No, no, not going to die. I'll at least take that. Not going to go down the hole. Just got to wait for those to pass by. I can at least take my time this time around, which is always a welcome thing. It's always welcome. Flip over that thing. And there we are. Let's go detonate this TNT crate. Always glad to hear that sound. Always a delight, always a delight. Let's wait for that to explode just to be on the safe side. And bonus time, bonus time. Get ready for bonus round. Oh God, when I do, yeah, Donkey Kong 64 is one of those games where I am not, where I am actually debating about whether or not to do it. Because basically, Donkey Kong 64 could be the death of me. Well, as much as I love Donkey Kong 64, basically, it would be one of those games where I'm going to be doing a, where I'd be doing a very casual run of it. 
I would not be doing a good chunk of the golden bananas because frankly, I would not want to drive myself crazy. And for what, a secret little movie that I could show you very quickly? I could I could link you to a video on it and it's not all that over, it's not all that, it's not, it basically it's not worth all the pain. That's all I can say, it's not worth the pain. Okay, 41 lives. I can't believe that we're up to 41 lives despite all the deaths that we faced. All the deaths that we faced in the second hub with the ice. Okay, let's just navigate our way around here. Just navigate around the plant. Okay, I will take that, I will take that. No, you aren't gonna get me. Not this time. Spin you out of the way. Dodge all the plants that we can dodge. Good, good. There we are. Wanna grab as much Wumpa fruit as we can. And then get out. Coolaroonie, Coolaroonie. Let's go here. Okay, good, I did not miss it. I did not miss it. Let's zip out. Darn it, every time. Every time that happens. Okay, at least I didn't fail that one. Yeah, I swear, it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy where I'm like, I don't want to land on the nitro blocks, but yet basically I have to get past them. And so I get scared and I get, and I want to basically be careful. But then I'm like, if I'm careful, I'm chances are I'm going to land on them anyways. Okay. Got another one down. We're down. And I think that this one's actually, no, wait, this isn't the one I was thinking of. That, that's the next level. That's sewer or late, sewer or later. Yes, Dan's crash. Dan's for me. Sewer or later. And bear down. We already did that. Road to ruin. Unbearable. We did that. Okay, sewer or later. And road to ruin. I'll do sewer or later first because, frankly... Wait. What is this? Unlock a new path by earning the yellow gem somewhere. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay, I boot. Let's keep going. Yeah, I don't know what the story with this one's gonna be. Basically, I don't. I think that there's a. Ah, yes, yes. This is the one with the hidden entrance. Let's wait for him to weld. It's been that way. I've always found the screams of these guys to be just gruesome, you know. I'm gonna leave that one there because, frankly, it could lead to my death. Just go through the sewer, just... Whose sewer is this? Okay, but anyways. Yeah, who owns the sewer, out of curiosity? Is this Cortex's sewer? Is this Engine... En I was about to say Embryo's sewer. Apparently, I can't say Embryo's name without the curse of the Embryo coming after me. Embryo just strikes me down. I created the curse! Yeah, just like I said, Minder Mutes may have been a horrible crash game, but if there was one good thing it had, it was Embryo. Embryo was actually a delight in that game. Just too bad he got he got shafted so hard in his boss fight. He didn't even transform into his mutant form. Okay. No, no, no. I am not gonna fail that. There we are, good. This time, I'm going to break the checkpoint box. Then I'm going to get the Aku Aku mask. I'll break these boxes just to be on the safe side. Then, heading on down. Okay, hopefully this leads us to another gem and not basically just, oh, hey, here's just some boxes. Okay, I completely fail because of my horrible death perception. Yes, I have horrible death perception. Essentially, I cannot, re my vision is screwed up because I have one eye that is nearsighted and one eye that is farsighted. Meaning that basically I see things at a constant tilt. It, then I sometimes see doubles at certain distances. So yeah, that's always a real fun thing, just having to contend with. Just like, am I actually landing on things properly? Because basically for me, something, something that may look like it's straight ahead may actually look like it's slightly to the right for me. Okay, 
I'm not going to lose a life off this. I'm actually going to head back. Okay, no. Checkpoint. Okay. How? Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to die a bunch of times so I can get the life. That way, I can get the me thrice. Three, four, five. Ho hopefully that will actually cause it where I can actually break through. Will this actually grant me it? There we go, there we go. Okay, we are good now. Okay. Let's go get that bonus stage. Yes, I am a mad lad who basically did not time this properly. I could have done this a whole lot better, but I did it my way, and look what's happening. Okay, break the nitro blocks. Good. Yeah, don't worry about basically cracking the ones on top of the nitro blocks just because... Those will explode, those will explode in due time. All we have to do is just detonate the nitro blocks. Which we can do at the end of the level as per normal. Okay. But, okay, 16. 10 boxes left. Okay. Let's wait for that box. Let's wait for that barrel. Okay, two of the crates are here. Three, four. I could have died as soon as I got that gem. That would have actually probably been a better solution. Yeah, got through it. And here we are, we're back at this one. Okay, got through that one. I couldn't really see, so I couldn't really slide through that first one. That is the excuse I'm going with. And that is what I'm gonna be saying. That's what I'm gonna say for future reference if anyone ever asks me about that. Okay, that one was all part of my plan. That that was all a part of the plan. Okay, um, apparently I, I can't jump through those things. I, I can't jump through them. I'm sad. I lost a bunch of lives. Okay, I keep failing. Wait, they respawn? Seriously? Okay. I'm not risking it. There. There we go. Jumping across. Let's just snap through these. Let's just wait for this guy to respawn. And I get through this. I never knew you could do this. I always was just trick shotting it. But, well, now I know. Now I know. And now I am aware. Okay, there's the thing. 49 at 57, very good. Okay, where's, where's the exit, where's the exit? I think that that one's over there. No! Yes, just get the gruesome scream. Just get the gruesome scream. Okay, yeah, the crystal is actually at a dead end path, I believe. Yeah, the crystal's actually on a dead end path, if you can believe it. Okay, don't stay on that for too long because I don't know if it's like its stationary counterpart. Jump here, let's get going, jumping through the sewer. It's so much fun. I like the sewer theme. I like the sewer theme. Yeah, imagine, you're just doing your job, you're just trying to basically repair the sewers, and then just a, ba a giant bandicoot just comes and smacks you. He smacks you down and you're sad. Okay. What? What did I miss out on? Well, regardless, I'm, I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna get out. I can come back and I can do this again. Thankfully, none of the gems are on 
thankfully none of the blocks were on the gem path, so at least I'm good there. Two more later. There we go. I'll go back to sewer later, and then I'm going to knock out our last level. I our last level here, I believe, which will actually be a pretty simple. Well, wait, it'll actually have another gem. It'll be a no death path, but at least that would be the only gem we're getting for the time being. Okay, this time I am not going to forget about it. Okay, this time I'm going to jump on this one because I want to be as safe as possible. I want to basically make sure that I'm getting them all because I'm paranoid at this point. Okay. Okay, hopefully this one doesn't sink. Good. And let's get across. Smack the Aku Aku. Very good. Get 11 out of them. Okay, we made it through. I just want to get the gems. I just want to get the gem. So I'm not going to be too, too concerned with that one. And it's 10 Wumpa Fruit. Okay. Hopefully I am not missing anything. Let's head down. 15 out of 57. I don't know what I was when I came down here the last time. I forgot. Like I said, short-term memory of a goldfish. Right here. Like I said, this is why when I played Cuphead, I had... For my Cuphead playthrough, I actually had to face... When I got to the monkey boss, I had to actually take a photo of basically what was going on. Okay. Get as many of these crates as I can. Just so that way I don't miss out. Okay. Jump. Grab the life. Good. Always good to grab that extra life. Okay, 25. At least we'll be up to 40 lives again. I won't have to waste another six lives just trying to get through this place. Try and navigate through this chamber of doom again. Okay, and one more to go. One more. There we are, good. Let's jump over here. Okay, good. I swear, just... Some, when you miss those that one crate or those two crates, it just drives you mad. It drives you batty. And time to get some invincibility going on, baby. Okay, one crate left. Watch how I missed it somehow. Watch how I missed that one crate, and I'm going to be upset. I'm going to have to navigate the entire level because I missed one crate. Watch how it was in the bonus area, just to spite me. Because the bonus areas always have to spite me. Okay, good. Oh. I missed out on this. Okay, I dodged one threat just to hit another. Okay, good. Got them all this time. Sure, I just came back to the level a second time, but nope. Me and my stubbornness, I had to die about five times. I had to do a bunch of unnecessary deaths. <laughs> only me, only me, only me and my unnecessary deaths can accomplish such an achievement. Okay. We actually could potentially get to the net. What I can hopefully do is, let's see what my timer is. Let's see what the time is. Okay, 19 minutes. I, yeah, we can get through the next level. We can get through it. Okay. All there, all there. Yes, let us head into Road to Ruin, our first Ruins level. The, with Road to Ruin, it is a secret entrance level where, guess what? A good chunk of the boxes are blocked behind that secret entrance, so you can't really get the crate bonus. Instead, we're going to be aiming for the no death bonus gem. So let's just get through this. Yeah, try to yeah, collect what you want to collect, but frankly, don't be too hellbent on it. Yeah, I thought that it was blocking on me thrice. 
Okay. Let's get into here. Okay, this is gonna spew some fire, or it's not gonna spew fire, it's just gonna look nice. Whoa, no, I'm not gonna deal with your three blind mice. Yeah, look who came back. Okay. Okay, got that one, good. The more me thrices we have, the more Aku Akus we have, the better. The better it will be for all of us in the end. And these ones are gonna start spewing fire at us. Always a delight, always a delight. Okay, there it is, there's the no death platform. Just what we wanna see. So, let's go. We got a gem to collect, and I think that this will actually count as a shortcut. Anyways. I think that there's a trick to this that I'm basically, I know. Well, I was sad. I got freaked out by the gorilla and watch how I'm gonna die again, which will cost me my, which will cost me my invincibility platform. Okay, good. Thankfully, like I said, no deaths I don't believe count on, that deaths on the no death path count on the, yes, good. If it made the platform disappear, I'd be upset. I would be livid. I would be very, very livid. But now we have to do this on one shot. Okay. All right, I believe. Yeah, we can spin the log away. There we go. Aha! I know my strategies. Spin the log. Don't do what I did where I was constantly thinking, oh, you have to bait, you have to spin these, you have to jump over the logs. Yeah, I actually, when I first did this on my 100% file, I actually jumped over the logs. I'm serious. I was basically, when I got to this level, I was jumping over these guys' logs. I was doing some weird Matrix style reflexes as I was just jumping the logs. Okay. Throw the log, spin, throw the log. No, you will not throw your log. I will not die to your log. Okay, good. Now let's just run back here. I believe it's pretty much just a straight shot before dealing with a big gorilla head. And there is our gem, right there for the taking. We got it, we are good. Even if we die, we'll still have the gem, which is always a good thing in my book. Now the end of the level, I believe, is actually just straight up ahead. So let's grab our Aku Aku. If we were invincible, that would be really nice, but we don't have such luxuries. No such luxuries exist for us. Okay, there's a checkpoint. Very good, very nice. At least now we don't have to worry about the, whoa, no. Okay, I am not gonna deal. Should I deal with the bonus? Nah, I'm not gonna deal with the bonus. I'm like, I'm not gonna deal with the bonus. Just dies instantly. Dies instantly to the, bo to the lack of bonus. You know what, I'll, I'll grab the bonus. I'll grab the bonus. Are you happy, game? I, I got the checkpoint bonus. It's all good. Basically, what I'll do is I'll complete this level. We'll do the boss, knock that out, and then everything will be good. Okay, yeah. It's, this is going to be one of those bonuses. Just smack all the boxes so that way we can get these ones up and running. Jump up here. Very nice. I just want to grab whatever I can grab and get a little checkpoint to boot. Yeah, I love how I can get through the through this level with pretty much no real issue, but then I fail at the flames right at the end of the level. That's that's always a beautiful thing. But like I said, Road to Ruin, you can't do this first time around. I'm sorry, you can try your best, but you aren't going to get all the crates. Yeah, that area right at the beginning, that is where basically the secret exit will dump you off associated with this area. No, I'm not dying. Looks like the monkeys that basically were in the first game, they've been upgraded to jump instead of spin. And I play chicken. I play chicken with the block. Okay, at least we're back at the checkpoint. We're back. What? What? The flames were down! The flames were down! Don't you give me that game! Don't you give me that the flames were not down! Because I saw those flames go down! 
Anyone can test that those flames were down. Okay. The monkey will jump. Good. And let's get going. Road to Ruin at least, like I said. Road to Ruin is one of those levels where I will always remember that it has a secret exit. That it has a secret entrance associated with it. Anyways, with that, we can actually move on to the third boss. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. Yeah. Just second hub was so much of an issue. Third hub, not, not too bad. Not too bad. We'll be getting the we'll be getting the Road to Ruin one pretty soon. I forgot the crystal! Gotta go back and get the crystal! Actually, yeah, I was gonna say I would cut back to the crystal, but you know what? I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get the crystal for you, and then basically we're gonna get out of here. Yeah, I love how I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this. Nope. Just doom. Let's go. Wait for those to go. Let's smack you down a little. Grab an Aku Aku, always a welcome thing, always a welcome thing in the event of such events. Nice! That was a nice shot right there. I mean, just let me get through this level. I am not after anything. I just want to go and I want to just grab my crystal that apparently was on the path. That was really... You had to do this to me, game. You had to force me to deal with the crystal. Yeah, let's just go and grab what we can grab. Yeah, I love how I just spin away all that Wumpa fruit. I'm so wasteful. There are starving children that could be eating that Wumpa fruit. But yet here I am, just completely wasting Wumpa fruit. Good, clean, fresh Wumpa fruit. Okay, at least we're almost through this area. Yo. Wait for that to go down. Now we're good. We're good. Love how fast you can get through this level when you're actually just trying to just get through it. When you have determination on your side. We'll wait for the monkey to actually get over here. We'll wait for that monkey to just come by. Good. And we are all good. We have all the gems. We have the gems. We have the, we have the gem. We have the crystal. We have everything. Now let's just get going and do the boss fight. Because this is actually a very fun, because this is a very fun boss, and it is the introduction of a fan favorite character in the series. First, we have to put the gem, the crystal, in there as Cortex comes to greet us. Crash, my boy, you are more than halfway there. But I'm sure you've noticed that things are getting harder. The last ten crystals will be the hardest to gather, and my. <laughs> Our enemies will be sending their strongest forces to thwart you. I'll contact you again when you have completed the next warp room. But first off, we have to fight Tiny Tiger, a favorite character, who then basically was turned into Mike Tyson in Crash, Ra Mine, eh, Crash of the Titans. Yes, with Tiny. Tiny, you have to basically trick him. Tiny will follow you exactly. He will follow your path exactly how you're jumping. You want to guide him over one of these. I know. There we go. You want to basically send him over the ledge by tricking him onto one of the red platforms. With Tiny, like I said, he will follow you. He will be fast. So, yeah, with Tiny, he will pathfind you. So yeah, be cautious. This first phase, he will follow your exact movements, and then in others, he will be a little bit more, well, he'll be angrier. There we go. Tiny tries to fly, Tiny falls. Tiny comes back up on a platform. Okay. There we go. I know. There we go. Second tiny, down. Okay. And 
we did it. We actually defeated Tiny. Easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Bye, Tiny. See you in Crash 3. Okay. We'll get, we'll wait for the loading screen to be done, and then I think it would actually be a good time to, well, move on, basically. We'll end the episode off. Hey. Okay, anyways, I think now would be a good time to end the episode off. I really appreciate that you took around to watch this episode. You're a great viewer, and I hope you come back for the next one. If you like this video, like, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever you want. And with that, I'll see you next time. Bye.